What is going on guys? My name is Roberto Diaz. Today we're going to be talking about the 85mm 1.8 Canon EF lens and why it's my favorite lens. To be honest, I didn't even think I was going to like this lens. I never even thought I would buy this lens. I don't even know why I bought it. Picked this lens up, was hoping to do some portrait photography. So I found myself having too many wide lenses. I felt like I needed something a little bit tighter. I uh, was initially thinking about getting the 70 to 200, but I didn't feel like spending that much money. So I picked up the 85 millimeter. I am impressed by this lens. I didn't think that this little thing was not even that small, but I didn't think that this thing would pack a punch. Uh, so right now you can pick this lens up for around $250. You will be blown away. To be honest, I, so I have the 50, I was throwing it around like this thing is cheap. This thing is uh, the 50 millimeter 1.2, just for comparison, this thing costs over a thousand bucks, 1,400. This thing, you can pick it up right now for $250. I've been using this way more. You know, if you can balance these out in a little, you know, which one I would pick right now if I could. It'd be the 85 and it's $250. So you can, you can stack these up. You can buy five of these and still not buy this one. That's probably wait, 250, 50. You can buy four, you can buy, you can buy like five of them and then you'll still have enough money. This lens is cheap, man. And I'm not talking about the quality. I mean, as far as the build quality, as far as the build quality, it's a pretty solid lens. It doesn't feel flimsy like a 50 millimeter 1.8 it it feels a little sturdier it's not bad quality it's a pretty good all-around lens it's not cheap in any way the glass is high quality and the thing that i love about this lens so much is how sharp it is when i picked up this lens i didn't even look up anything about it i didn't look up any videos i didn't look up nothing not even a review so i just bought it and was hoping for the best and i wasn't i was shocked i'm still shocked man that's why i'm doing a video because this thing's good you guys need to buy that lens i'm gonna be showing a few pictures so you guys could see the the quality this lens gives and and i know it doesn't compare to rf lenses and stuff like that i don't have any rf lenses so i can't really talk about them but for an ef lens man this is good this is good i i would say this lens is probably as sharp as my 18 to 35 um, mill. And obviously this is a prime lens, so it's going to be uh, really, really sharp. I've been using it for a lot of live events too. I initially wanted the 7200 since a lot of churches that I do are, are pretty decent size. So I figured I need something that could get, you know, a, a wider range. I don't need something too wide. I guess I'm just in this phase right now where I want to use an 85 for everything. And I guess it's perfect since the EOS R is full frame when I'm doing portraits. It's great because I don't want to have to be a block away taking pictures. And when I do pair it up on the GH5, it's great too because I, I feel like if I'm a little bit closer up to my subject, for me, it's more beneficial and it goes down to a 1.8. So it's great for low light. So you need to buy this lens, man. This lens is sharp. It's on sale right now. If you want to pick this lens up, you can click on the links below. Once again, guys, my name is Roberto Diaz. If you like this video, please make sure to thumbs up. If you don't like it, then dislike it. It doesn't matter. I only have like five subscribers anyways. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys next time.